The handrail installation will take approximately three hours. The installation process for the staircase's handrails will differ depending on the material you have selected for your handrails. This instructional video will demonstrate the process for metal handrails, either aluminum or brass only. Please consult your instruction manual if you have selected vinyl handrails. Step 36. Do not remove the plastic on the handrail coil A1. Start by wrapping a piece of tape around the handrail every 18 inches. Determine whether you are installing a right hand up or left hand up handrail and position the handrail A1 appropriately using the diagram in your installation manual. Step 37. You will need to open the handrail coil to a diameter one foot larger than the diameter of your staircase. In this case, we will open it to six feet since our diameter is five feet. If desired, you can mark a circle on the floor matching your final desired diameter to help maintain the correct shape. This can be done with a piece of string attached to a center nail or screw. Please note, it is difficult to reform an aluminum handrail, so it is important to expand slowly and carefully to avoid damaging the railing. Slowly expand the railing at each tape mark by pulling out and up. Rotate to the next mark and repeat. Using your foot as leverage on the tape marks helps expand the coil more evenly. Incrementally, pull the handrail A1 into shape, using a dowel in the ends for additional leverage and to ensure a consistent shape. Be sure to avoid flat spots. Step 38. The handrail should be expanded by approximately 10 inches at each tape mark until it is a smooth helical shape. Step 39. Once the handrail A1 has been fully expanded, carefully walk it up to the top landing. Rest the handrail on the flipper head's Q, adjusting to ensure an even amount of overhang. If the shape of the handrail does not follow the angle of the spindles, take it back down and make further adjustments. Once you have the handrail properly positioned, pull back the plastic wrap incrementally in order to zip tie the handrail to each flipper head. Work your way from top to bottom, making sure to continuously check that your spindles remain plumb in both directions. Step 40. After attaching all of the zip ties, you'll need to secure the flipper head's Q to the handrail A1 using sheet metal screws A2. First drill a pilot hole using a 5 32nd inch drill bit. As each flipper head is fastened to the handrail, Go ahead and fully tighten machine screw J using a Phillips head screwdriver to maintain the proper angle. Cutting perpendicularly, remove excess handrail using your saw approximately two and a half inches from the top and bottom spindles. Step 41. Use a file to remove any burrs on the inside of each end of the handrail A1 and hammer end cap A3 into place using a rubber mallet. If desired, you may use silicone inside the handrail to help hold the end caps in place. Complete the handrail installation by removing all zip ties carefully using a utility knife. This concludes the installation of the metal handrail.